once again. You are welcome to our, you know, uh, webinar session, whereby we try to provide solution to challenges facing exporters. It's very important that we don't just keep on talking about basis uh, techniques uh, of exporting. We also need to tackle challenges so that the more you're able to overcome the challenges, the better you become a champion in the sector. And like I keep on telling a lot of people, export is an institution. It's not something you do and you go. So what that implies is that you may need to be patient at times in the process of perfecting your product that you need to export to the buyers. It's also very important. So please, let's note this, uh, that export is not you know, a quick money business, but it's an enduring business that lasts for generations. A lot of people who are actually involved in export you know, uh, are usually glad they did. So please, let's be patient in getting things done. And I believe that as we do that, we're going to have a uh, rich reward. Okay? So today we'll be talking about uh, uh, exports. Uh, but before that, I want to introduce myself. My name is Godwin Abiodun Efesor, a member of Nigerian American Chamber of Commerce, board member, uh, U.S. African Trade Council in Atlanta, Georgia, also a member, Nigerian Belgium Chamber of Commerce, Netherlands Business Link, and former vice chairman, export group of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. You are welcome. Now, today we'll be talking about short strategy, okay, uh, that you can use to transport your container, uh, container cargoes to the ports. This has been a lot of challenges, but in every challenge, as a practitioner in the sector, I believe you can, we can always have a way to get things done. And, uh, and uh, that will be of tremendous help. But before then, I want to also encourage us that we've been talking about our Dubai trade and tour. It's still coming up. And uh, in, I must assure you that the program is on course and it's going to be of tremendous benefit. So if you have not uh, do your part payment, please try and do the part payment so that, you know, because the buyers and some of the people we have a meeting with are actually requesting us to send them the names of people they'll be meeting so that they can prepare what they need or even try to know what they need then prepare some of those things they need ahead of time so anytime you get to dubai that they will not be running up and down so please take note of this uh program it's still coming up in december in in, a, in september okay but if all things being equal uh as mean that you know partake in this program you should be sure that you will definitely make something good out of it like i said when it comes to the issue of investment Okay, you don't base yourself on one aspect. So at the Dubai Trade and Tour, we actually be talking about uh, the aspect of you know meeting other investment opportunity. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, then, so today we're talking about a sure way to transport your container cargo to the port without stress. Now, transporting cargo goes to the port in Nigeria is one of the most taxing you know, challenges faced by exporters. Okay, uh, so tough that a lot of container even have to spend about one month, some two months. You know, before their uh, container enter the port. Now, the challenge with this is that Nigerian uh, exporter shipping commodity uh, stands to lose their contract if the time lapse while the container is still on queue. Okay. Now, even the worst, if the con if, if the goods are also perishable, you know, as they might also get spoiled, and that is there are some goods that are perishable. You know, you cannot leave them in a long time for two months, three months in the container. So that may also be a, a real problem. So talk less of reaching, you know, so of getting to the to the place of destination where also we take an additional two months. So if you're exporting, if you're an exporter battling with choice of how to quickly get, you know, your goods into the port, within one to two weeks, we've been able to come up with about four sure strategy that have been helpful and that can actually be of help to you. Uh, number one is what we call the inside, you know, stuffing. Inside, inside stuffing, inside stuffing. When you opt to, to do inside stuffing, what that means is that what the question I want to ask, what is inside stuffing? It means that you are loading the container into the non-container truck, okay, and uh, transporting it to the HBX, you know, port terminal. They are normally formally called the uh, PMS, okay, in Lagos. Then offloading into a container there. Now, now, if you are transporting with a loaded container to the port, to the proper port, you could spend up to six to, you know, up to two months on the queue. But if you are transporting a normal truck, Listen, it's a strategy, okay? You are transporting a normal truck to the HBX terminal, you'll spend less than three days. You can you imagine? Three days on the road. And within three days on the road, as this will just join the company team. So they give preference to that, so you can also can use that method. Now, how does this play? Now, this is a strategy. Now, the HBX terminal is a 10-minute walk from the port, from the Apapa port, as they are both on the same, you know, the same road, that is the kick road. Now, what this means is that after you stuff your container in, uh, stuff your cargo into the container at the HBS, the terminal, the container will remain there for a week. 
while you finish all the custom clearance custom clearance procedure and when you are done the terminal operator will transfer the container to the port to the proper port terminal within 24 hours you know this means that your goods will be inside the port within two weeks instead of the normal even you just standing on the on the queue for two months for three months you know so this is a short strategy that you can use you know to get your your, your container to the port number two let's to to move container into the port quickly is via the railway i see a lot of this in the uk i see a lot of this in us now from the there's a rail even from atlanta to the point to, to florida you know to alabama you know to tennessee in, from there to the port so they are very good they use most of the time they use rail okay now how do you achieve using rail okay to, to achieve this you need to load a container and you need to load the container into a container truck then transport it to a door railway that is in Lagos. Now, when it when the container is at the terminal, it will be loaded into a train outside other container, and it will be transported to the port within three days. It's also a very very good method that one actually can use. It's important to know that you can only load a minimum of forty feet container on the train at a time. No, meaning that it is either loading one forty feet container foot or two. You know, two uh, 20 feet container making 40 feet. So it's also a very good method. The last one is by barge. Barge is one of the fastest way to transport shipping container to the port in Nigeria. I repeat, barge is, the, is one of the fastest ways to transport shipping containers to the port in Nigeria. This is possible because the, con the container are loaded into a river barge, which is then transported by the water, you know, by the water network. To the port now when it when transporting by barge the container may eat, enter into the port within three to four you know uh set three to four uh, to seven days then depending on the clearance that needs to be done so barge is a good one that you know one place you can you can actually load a container on a barge is at equal to lighter terminal okay and i think maybe the, the lucky this the, uh, deep sea port so it's going to be a very good one now like custom it's actually a cost they could do lighter terminal is actually a custom bonded terminal okay in lagos you are expected to bring your container from outside on the truck to the terminal after which it will then be processed and loaded on a barge for transport to the port so like i said earlier on we are talking about short strategy to get your container now the question i want to ask is, ah, me that i'm just a small something which kind of container you see <laughs> the small thing you start you start today we eventually build up okay and uh, at that point you need Customers will be loading, in. so you need this information, and it will be very, very useful to you. Like I said earlier on, for those who are just coming in, we are talking about the sure, you know, strategy you can use to get your container to the port. I mean, to, to the port without stress. We said number one is called the inside stuffing. Number two, we also talk about less crowded ports. Now you can make use like the one in Port Harcourt, uh, the honor seaport is also a good one. The third one we talk about railway. Okay, you can use it. Although with a lot of infrastructure going on, uh, repairs going on on the railway, it's going to be a bit of too yourself to the exporters you know when everything is finished then the one the last one which you said is bash you said bash is one of the largest badges the it's actually the fastest ways to transport shipping con uh, containers to the ports in nigeria so if i say the fastest then it's better you use it so like i said earlier on so these are very important these are serious problem to you know major serious exporters but i think today they can make use of either using the badge or the less crowded uh, terminal or maybe through railway they are good one now to sum up now transport transporting cargo container to the port in nigeria can be a major headache okay most people spend weeks and sometimes months just to get their container into the port in, into the port by the road but if you use any of those four methods i've told you above you know uh you know you may actually get your container uh you, you might actually it, it could be in the port within one to two weeks